All right, second type of interaction we're gonna talk about is hydrogen bonding. Uh, hydrogen bonding involves a donor and an acceptor. The currency that we're gonna be looking at is H's. So when you have a donor, the donor donates a hydrogen and the acceptor accepts a hydrogen. A basic format or basic structure of a typical donor is going to be an electronegative atom that's attached to an H. The electronegative atom is going to be assigned a delta negative. The hydrogen is going to be assigned a delta positive. Typical electronegative atoms are sulfur, oxygen, and nitrogen. I also put in fluorine there because it is ele electronegative enough to hydrogen bond, but the problem is you're not really going to see fluorine present inside your amino acid residues. Okay, so this H gets donated to the acceptor. The acceptor is going to be same type of electronegative atom, except we're going to be focusing on the electron pair. All right, so it's not the fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, or sulfur atom. It's the electron pair that's present on the fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, or sulfur. Okay, and uh, one thing that you want to keep in mind is this electron pair has to be localized. It can't be in resonance. We'll discuss this in point three. Um, it has to be localized and available for interaction with the H. Second thing, charged greater than uncharged. All right, in general, the more charged a particle becomes, the stronger the interaction is going to be between opposite charges. The uh, interaction on the left involves an NH4 plus, that's going to be the donor, okay? Going to H bond with the OH, all right? The OH is going to be the acceptor. We're gonna say this electron pair is accepting, all right? So we have a positive charge that's interacting with a delta negative, a partial negative charge. Um, compare that with the right um, interaction, okay? We still have a donor, we still have an acceptor, but this time it's delta negative interacting with delta positive. The interaction on the left with the NH4 plus is going to be stronger because it's charged. It's a charged particle compared to a partially charged particle. And the third thing you want to keep in mind is that the acceptor electron pairs, they can't be in resonance. If they're in resonance, they're not localized and they're not available for being hydrogen bond acceptors. All right, this shows up with glutamine and asparagine this electron pair is not available because it's partaking in resonance, so it's not going to be localized and it can't interact with the H. Same thing with arginine, both of these electron pairs on the um, adjacent nitrogens cannot participate in H bonding because they're in resonance. And when they're in resonance, they're not localized, they're not going to be available for H bonding. So there you have it, hydrogen bonding the second of our non-covalent interactions that we discussed in class.